All right, guys, Splits here, and I'm gonna show you guys how to make this eye-catching custom YouTube thumbnail so you guys can put it on your YouTube videos. So it's really easy and simple. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. All right, so once you have your video onto Share Factory, the first thing you wanna do is duplicate it. So in order to do that, you wanna press square and then clone clip. So now you guys can see that I have two of the same videos right here. So yeah, so on the on the clone clip, you just want to find a good place for your thumbnail. So find like a good screenshot. So I'm just going to find one real quick. And I'm going to do it right there. All right. So from here, you just want to split the clip. So press square and then split split clip and then X again and then confirm. So I'm re I'm doing that because just in case if I move around the timeline, like I know where my thumbnail is going to be. So right there. All right. So a good thumbnail needs text. So in order to do that, press square and then edit overlays and then press X again. And then you guys will see the text. So I recommend you guys use this one right here because it's nice and bold and it's easy to read. So just type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in YouTube. And then uh, from here, you guys can see um, all the things you can do. So to transform it, cause I want this to be a lot bigger. So press R1 and you guys can see I can make it as big as I want. And I'm gonna shrink it. And you can also rotate it, which I'm actually gonna do. So I actually want this to be like a little smaller. I think that's good right there. All right, so just press X to confirm it. And then if you guys want, you guys can change the color, but I'm not gonna do that. And then I recommend you guys go to text effects and then pick this one with the black stroke. It just makes the text uh, pop out more and looks a lot better. So once you do that, uh, I'm gonna add another text. So same thing, press square, then edit overlays, X again. And this time I'm gonna type in thumbnail, transform, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm actually gonna rotate it, YouTube thumbnail, make it a little bit bigger. All right, I'm gonna put it like right there. And then text effect to add the black stroke. And now you guys can see that it's starting to look like a good thumbnail. So I'm gonna add one more thing so go back to square and then edit overlays again, X again. And then you guys can see that there's stickers on here. So if I go all the way down, we'll start seeing these arrows because there's a good thumbnail doesn't a thumbnail, a good thumbnail has a huge red arrow. So that's what I'm going to add. So I'm going to rotate it and it just makes the thumbnail a lot more interesting. So I'm just going to point it to YouTube thumbnail and then I'm going to confirm it right there. And yeah, so I'm basically done the thumbnails and in order to apply the thumbnail, you want to press options and then generate thumbnail. So now the thumbnail has been saved and now you can just delete all this. So it's not in your video. So just press square, delete clip, square delete clip and now from here you just want to press triangle to start uploading on YouTube so yeah guys that's how you create a good looking thumbnail a custom one on YouTube onto share factory so hopefully this guys helped you out subscribe if it did also give it a like and yeah guys thanks for watching